Here we're going to be covering a shoulder car, a great shoulder mobility exercise as well as assessment. So how or Here we're going to be covering a shoulder car, a great assessment tool, but as well as a mobility exercise or warm up exercise before your lifting session. So the goal with a car is to control just the joint that we're trying to move here, which is going to be the shoulder. So everything else in my body is going to try to stay as still as possible. Okay. We're going to start. I like to go one hand on the ribs. Other palm is going to go open. We're going to bring that up and across the body as high as we can before we start to get stuck. And then that arm is going to start to come to the outside and start to rotate. So in this position, we'll kind of stop and pause palm faces towards us, bicep towards the ear. Again, once we get stuck there, now we're going to try to rotate that palm away. That rotation is coming from your shoulder though. As you come around, you're going to reach behind you as far as you can. Keep rotating through your shoulder so that your palm is facing the outside. That's one half of a rep. So now we go in reverse. It's going to go thumb back as far as you can. Once you get stuck, you're going to start to rotate the shoulder so that the palm starts to face down, come back around. Now the palm starts to face the ceiling as we come back across our body. There is one rep. Now, if you were to run into any pinching pain or discomfort anywhere throughout the car, we're going to try to cut that part out for now until you see a licensed professional to assess you properly and help you expand your range of motion. From here, let's say I'm coming around here. This is all feels okay. And then when I get to that point, it kind of gets a little bit pinchy in my shoulder. I'm not going to continue to just keep going into that pain. I'm going to cut out the painful part of the range of motion. Maybe my shoulder has to drop as I go through that rotation and that can apply to any part of it. Then when I'm coming in reverse, this all feels good. And then I get to that pinching point and I'm just going to keep rotating. Okay. I'm clear of that painful part. Now I can come back around. So work with the range of motion that you have pain free. Keep working at that and over time you might find yourself being able to go a little further each time.